And today I wanted to walk you through my sales session. Like what, what does this look like? Because I feel like a lot of people make it a lot bigger than it is or than it needs to be, make it a lot more stressful than it needs to be. And remember, our sales equals service. We want to offer service, we wanna listen to our clients, and we wanna be there to help them make decisions. That should be our goal, and if that is your goal, you cannot do it incorrectly. So don't stress about it, and just keep it light and low key. Again, no high pressure. There is no point during my sales session that I'm like, okay, now you need to make a decision. (laughs) So I'll talk about objections tomorrow, but today I wanted just to walk through my, my sales appointment. I would do this in my sales room, but um, I'm actually putting together some furniture in there right now, so it's a disaster. So hence I'm on the back porch. Um, But imagine my sales room is usually uh, a couch, TV, samples on the walls, samples on the table. Um, If you don't have a sales room, do not let this be a detriment to you uh, starting to try some in-person sales because I went to my client's home for the first, oh gosh, five or six years of my business. I would go to their home and meet with them in their home. I could also meet some people in coffee shops. If they lived a little bit too far, we'd meet in the middle. I've also done online sales appointments via Skype where we get on video conference like this and then we'll do it that way. So there is no excuse to not meet with your client. Um, I promise you it would equate to higher sales and your client will be more satisfied and enjoy their session more and have a better experience. So they come into my sales room. I meet them at the door. Hello, welcome, we chit chat. Ask about their dog, ask about whatever other relevant thing we've chatted about from the session and I invite them in. On the screen when they come in is um, really my favorite image. I have that one up big um, so they can be like, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Um, And I usually have that one up. Usually I have one, at least one image that I will fully edit. So whenever I show them their images during a sales session, they're not fully edited. I don't take out all the leashes because if I have a client that's gonna get like three pieces for the wall, I don't want to edit 40 images. So um, I just fully edit usually my favorite that I'm going to want to use for marketing anyway. I'll fully edit that. I'll also fully edit um, really the best group shot because they almost always purchase a group shot if it's more than one dog involved in the session. But other than that, there's still leashes. Any crazy amount of editing that needs to be done, I will do. But if it's just a leash going out of the frame, they can picture it without that. So anyway, they come in, they see a fully edited image on the screen tell them, oh, come on in, sit down, here's some chocolate. Um, I I order usually online, or you can even pick it up at Target, like boxes of Godiva or Lint or some really good yummy chocolate. So I have that for them, give that to them. I did have someone in Pittsburgh that made amazing, delicious little truffles. So I would order a whole bunch of those and I keep them in the freezer. Um, And since they were in the freezer, I didn't eat them when I didn't have clients. (laughs) This is a problem. so yeah, so I give them a little something goodie. I say, here, this is for you. Enjoy. They're like, oh, thank you so much. They're so excited. They love their image. Gosh, sorry. Are we still there? You guys still with me? Got a phone call. Um, give me a quick thumbs up if you're still there. It still says I'm live, but I just want to make sure before I keep going. Or comment. There's 21 of you guys. <laughs> um, all right. I think we're good. Oh, yeah, there we go. I got a thumbs up from Shalina. Awesome. Okay. So thank you, guys. Thank you. Um, all right. So we sit down, they're excited. They're going to, um, they're watching the video or they, they sit down, they see their image. I give them their chocolate. I say, all right, let's, um, first thing I want to do is I created a little slideshow of all of your favorite images. Now, as we go through this, please note that they're not all final edits that, um, any ordered image, I will remove the leash and any distractions in the image will come out. Um, so, you know, but I wanted you to get a feel for our session. So sit down, enjoy, here we go. And I hit play and, um, and it plays on the screen. Now I'm doing this on my laptop and I have Apple TV set up on my screen. So my computer's not connected to the TV. It's just going through the network up to the TV. Um, I've done sales on my laptop before um, when I used to go to their home. So, you know, don't get hung up on these details. Just kind of look at the overarching theme of the, the um, just kind of the flow of how we do this. So they watch the video. They love the video. They're like crying. I have some Kleenex on the table. Um, And they're like, oh my gosh, they usually say something. Those turned out so much better than I thought, or I can't believe you got those images. My dog was so bad, yada, yada, yada. Um, And I said, good, I'm so glad you enjoy them. So 
in our, you know, earlier we talked about maybe wanting to do something on your living room. Because during my pre-session consult, I talk about what we're going to want to do with these images. So I already have an idea. So I'll bring that back up. This is what you were thinking about doing before. Is that something you're still considering? They'll usually say yes. And um, at that point, I'll say, okay, now before we go through these in images individually, let me show you some of the options that we have um, to display them. So at that point, I will go through basically all of my products. I'll start with the wall art and I say, for wall art, no, don't worry about the sizes of these. They all come in different sizes. Just look at the finishes. And I'll start at my high end. I'll start at my framed acrylics and my fine art prints. I get my framed acrylics from White Wall. Um, my fine art prints I get from Jonathan Penny. He's a master printmaker um, in New York, and he's amazing. They're beautiful, float mounted, just stunning. Um, and then I'll show them uh, my frame canvases, and then finally normal frame prints. So I'll show them these are all our finishes for wall art. And I'll say, and often most clients like to do something for their wall, and then they'll usually add a, um, they'll usually do an album or some prints digital files for the other images they love. Here are the different album options, and I'll start again with my highest end album. I'll explain, look at this beautiful watercolor paper, there's no seam in the middle, you have a, a whole bunch of different leather covers you can choose from, or non-leather, satin, silk, whatever. Um, and then here's the middle album, here's the lower album. So I then show them those couple albums, and I just show them the different albums. I'm not talking about prices at this point unless they ask, I'm just showing them the products. And then after I show them the albums, I just say, um, of course, prints and digital files are available to add on to your purchase as well. Um, and they, you know, we're just talking about it. It's just a conversation. There's no sales script. I don't have a script. I don't have things that I say. The main kind of script, if you will, is I usually uh, lead with most clients. Hey guys, I have my realtors at my house that we're trying to sell in Pittsburgh, and I forgot that there's a, somebody coming to fix the drain, so she's trying to call me. Um, so those things that I say is most clients, most clients, uh, this is the most popular option because when you say most clients, then they want to be like most clients. They want to do what other people do. So like, oh yes. So you can use that all through your marketing from your website to the inquiry calls to all of that stuff. But anyway, so we're just talking about the products and like, all right, let's go through now all of our images and we're just going to go through them one at a time. And I just want you to tell me which ones you really love. If you see an image that you really, really love, please just, you know, we'll say yes and we're going to mark it. And I tell them this is not final. You don't have to worry about choosing too many. You don't have to worry about losing any. This is just an initial pass through. We're going to pull out our favorites. And from that, we usually are going to choose our wall piece. So we go through the images one at a time. And... Um, as we're going through, sometimes if there's a couple that are similar and they start saying, wait, but I think I like the other one better, I will pull three up at the screen um, or all the similar ones up on the screen during that time. But I usually try to just go through one at a time and remind them, hey, it's all right, just put them all. We can, we can um, go back later on and, uh, and you know call a little bit more or really choose our favorites. Let's just add it for now. Let's just add it for now. So we move through and we do that. So we go through all the images. I'm like, all right, guys, that was the hardest part. Congratulations. They're like, oh, good. All right, because it usually is pretty stressful for them. It's definitely the hardest part is choosing their favorites. Then we start with, all right, so let's talk about your wall piece. Uh, which of these finishes do you feel goes best in your home? Are you interested in the barn wood? Do you like the more contemporary acrylics? So we just talk about the style. So we choose our style first. Then we, um, I ask them where they're going to be putting it in their home, what, what room, what size, like we'll kind of explain the wall a little bit. Hopefully I have a picture of their wall. I try to get a picture of their wall prior to the sales session so I can have that in Pro Select, and I've already kind of designed a wall piece for them, but I don't always have that. Um, and then, yeah, so we know the finish. We know kind of the area. And then, I, then we choose an image for it. Or if it's a gallery, they're thinking of a gallery, or if I've designed a gallery, I'll already have pre-populated what I think they might like in there, but if it's images that weren't their favorite, I'll pull that up and I'll just pull some of their favorites in there and just repopulate it really quick and pro-select. It's awesome, super fast. Fundy has services like that. Um, Shoot and Sell, is that the app? I'm, I'm blanking on the name. I think it's Shoot and Sell, the app for iPads. Um, so yeah, so that's the wall, and we just finish up the wall. We're like, okay, this, that. And then if they're worried about sizes, I have a variety of different sizes with me in the sales room. So they're like, what size is that? Okay, that's a 24 by 36. What size is that? And if you find you're selling your highest size regularly, 
it's time to up your sample size. Um, I found that I was selling a lot of, um, quite a few 30 by 40s recently. And so now that I moved into my new house, um, I'm going to be ordering a 40 by 60 sample. <laughs> so then I'll sell even more 30 by 40s. Um, so yeah, so always just up that, up that size if you're finding you're selling the highest one all the time. Yeah, Swift Galleries is another good one, Shalina. That's awesome. And um, Susan, I saw your question a while ago for albums. Um, Pro DPI Press Album, not their Press Book. Press Album is my best seller. It's my middle album. And my lower end and higher end, I use Fineo. Their Elements and then their Art One album. Um, all right, so we've decided on our wall art, and um, then I just asked them, all right, so with all these other images that you love, would you like to display those in an album? I also will show them my little album block, which from Simply Color, it's 10 five by seven fine art prints. They're beautifully done on a little wooden block. Cost me like 35 or $40, and I sell it for 600 because there's 10 images in it. It is so popular. People love it. And I love my cost of goods sold on that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, you know, we talk about album or those image blocks or if they're interested in prints or digital files, and we just kind of work from there. If they're into the albums, then we start to design that. So if they say, yes, oh, I would really love this 8x8 uh, middle album. It's beautiful. Uh, so I say, all right, great. That album, and the way I price my albums, tangent here real quick, the way I price my albums is my lowest album only has 10 images. $5.99, 10 images. My next album is $15.99, and it can have all of the images from their session. So there's, um, they don't have to worry about losing any or choosing any. Um, they can have all of them, and I'll just add extra, extra um, spreads, which is great. Um, they love it. Jennifer, I'll come back to that in just a second. Um, let me know what you want to know about that. It's from Simply Color, the album block. It's great. Um, but yeah, so my albums, I used to have them priced 10 images in my lower one, like 25 images in my middle one, and all of the images in your highest one. I hardly sold any albums. And then I changed my pricing to include all of the images available in the middle and higher end albums. And all of a sudden I was selling a ton of middle albums. But here's the funny thing. I tell people, we can have all the images in your album, but if you want to just put your favorites in there, then your images will be larger. And I show them two album samples. One album sample has, you know, a ton of images, and other is a little bit more sparse. So the images are bigger, you have more single page layouts, and almost always they just like end up with about 25, maybe 30 images in their max. Uh, maybe 20 to 25, probably most average. So they end up calling it down on their own because they want the bigger images, which I just think is hysterical, but I sell it so much more now just because of how I changed how I word that. Um, all right, so we choose our albums. And if they are interested in an album, I let them know what I just said, that they can have all their images, but the less number of images, the bigger the pictures are going to be. Um, Let's go through and, and decide which images you want in your album. So we go through our favorites again. Like, here's all your favorites. Do you want to keep all these? And they're usually like, yes, 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 love all those. Then I'm like, all right, well, let's go through the ones you didn't choose and make sure, you know, do you want to pull any of these over? So we'll go through, and sometimes they'll usually pull over like five or six more from the ones that they didn't love, you know, or didn't select love when we went through our initial um, pass through. Um, and then I let them know, hey, I already know what your favorites are. I'm going to design this album. I'll send you a PDF proof in about two weeks. And for that, I use Smart Albums. Um, I'm going to put a code for Smart Albums under here, guys. Save $100 on Smart Albums. They're awesome. It said design an album 10 minutes. Um, anyway, they have an online proofing. It's $9 per album, or you can have a yearly. I think it's $150 for the year. Um, but I just pay per album. Um, and, yeah, and then they get a, a proofing thing, and they just can leave comments on it or they just hit approve. Super easy, it's great. Um, so the only decisions they have to make, which they're usually relieved, I let them know, I know your favorites, I'm gonna design your album, your favorites will be some of the bigger ones in the album, I'll send you a PDF proof in two weeks, you just have to approve it or let me know if you have any changes. The only thing we need to decide is what image you want on the cover and what fabric you want on your album. So we decide those two things. And then we've got our wall art, we have our album. Um, you know, at that point, if you were doing collections, I would say, here's where, th you might fit in this collection well. Let me show you these collections. You'd fit in this collection well based on the things you did. Um, right now, I have a create your own collection. So if you order three things, any, uh, or at least one 16 by 20 wall art and any two other products, then um, you save 20% on your entire order. So I will, um, 
you know, let them know that and, you know, give them the other options. Here are some little desk things, or would you like to add some prints or some digital files? Um, so yeah, so we just talk about that and we add that stuff on and then we total up. I mean, that's really all it is. It's so, so easy guys. It's so easy. Um, and truly, as long as you're coming at it from a place of service, it, no one's going to feel slimy and no one's going to feel icky. We're going to talk about objections tomorrow, about what happens if people can't make a final decision that day. My foot fell asleep. Um, or, you know, just different objections you get. If you guys want to put your objections that you hear or you're scared of hearing underneath this video, I'll address them tomorrow. Um, so go ahead and share those with me. And then, so after we do that, then we just total it up and I say, all right, here's, we have, I just kind of go over the order. I have a little order form. I'll show you tomorrow. It was actually the picture that I used to announce the Facebook Live yesterday. So you could check that out. Um, but I just write down what it is. I write down our total. I write down um, how much money they're saving for their create your own collection. I say, here's your total. But since you did a three, you know, your create your own collection, you save, you know, 20%. Here's what you're saving. Here's your new total. Um, and then with tax, here's your final total. And I write it down on there. I don't say the words because sometimes saying multi-thousand dollar things, just like, I don't like to say those words. <laughs> um, so I'll just kind of show them point, pointy talky, <laughs> tell them what it is they ordered and they, they can see the price right there. And then, um, and then I just, you know, uh, they usually say, oh, is credit card okay? Or how would you like to be paid? And like cash, credit card, check, whatever you prefer. And I usually just say, you know, you're welcome to use credit cards. I know I like to get the, earn the miles. Um, and yeah, and then I just take payment. It's super important that you guys can take credit card payments. Super important. You can use Stripe. They're great. I use QuickBooks um, as a payment processor as part of my QuickBooks Online, QuickBooks Payments, um, lots of different things. And a lot of those are just a flat percentage per charge, usually about 3%. You don't have to worry about a monthly fee um, to just have merchant services. That's how, it's how it used to be. All the banks you would have to spend probably $30 a month for the um, privilege of taking cards, which when you're first starting out and you don't have a client every month, that's kind of a bummer. <laughs> but you don't have to do that anymore, which is good. Um, so, yeah, and then we just – I take their money. I um, have a carbon copy underneath my order form. And I ordered those order forms from printpps.com, I believe. Printpps.com. I think it was like 50 bucks for 200 of them. They're carbon copy, um, which is great because I keep the top and I give them the yellow copy as their receipt that they can take home. Um, and I ordered the template on Etsy. I bought an invoice template for five bucks and I customized it off of Etsy. Um, so, yeah. That's really easy. And then I just let them know, all right, great, you're going to love this so much. And I give them kind of a, um, an idea of when things will be in. So I'm going to give you your album proof in about two weeks. Um, you'll be getting your watermarked web files. You get you know, a complimentary copy of all your ordered images to share online. Uh, you'll get those in about two weeks. Um, your artwork will take four weeks. You know, I just kind of give them, let them know what's next. Always throughout your entire client process, always let them know what's next. Um, yeah, and then we usually hug and off they go. Um, it's really, really, really easy, guys. There's no, no need to be, um, stressed about it. Tomorrow we'll talk about objections, specifically if people can't make up their mind at the ordering appointment, because that is, um, sometimes a challenge. Uh, we'll talk about that and, um, some other objections too. Like I said, share them below. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Let's do 11 o'clock again. I already checked my calendar. I have nobody coming um, to my house at 11. <laughs> it's been like cast of thousands. People coming in to finish like random little things that needed to be finished. Um, Steve wants to know my size for web size. I do 2048 on the long side because screens have so much more resolution now. But I save at a quality of 9 or 90. Depends 1 to 10 or 1 to 90 or 1 to 100 scale. Um, it usually ends up being about 400 kilobytes. So it's really, really small. And I am not worried about clients printing from the web files. Technically, they probably could print a 5x7. It would probably look pretty good. Maybe even an 8x10 wouldn't look terrible at that resolution. However, my clients, uh, have, they've spent good money with me. And they've purchased what they want. You know, And truly, if they want an extra print or two, I usually just throw it in when they've already purchased the things that I want them to order. 
So uh, that hasn't been a problem for me. Um, I can't see who was that. Hold on. Oh, Deborah wants to know if my clients see my pricing well in advance. Yes. Yes. Um, they have seen my pricing when they book. I never want them to be surprised in the sales room with pricing. That is not comfortable. That is ah, high pressure or just uncomfortable. They're uncomfortable. You're uncomfortable. Everyone's uncomfortable. And that is not fun. So always make sure they see your pricing um, beforehand.